happen very often. But we are here again. Spot 31. Lot security's called us for removal. Probably didn't see the sign. Hotel probably told me to park It's right there. What are you doing over here? Cranking it down. Hey, at least it's locked. Yeah. Okay guys, so I headed over to impound with the Jeep, uh, spot 31. We haven't gotten any calls for, gosh, I'm gonna say better than a month. So, uh, like I said in one of our previous videos, what we're doing is working. You know, we got a lot of folks that reach out to us and say thank you uh, for letting us know about the strange parking here and there. And, you know, it's uh, they've passed it along to brothers and sisters and cousins and entire families. So, uh, but yeah, uh, lo and behold, it comes to us again tonight in the form of a Jeep Wrangler parked right in front of the sign, spot 31. So uh, stick around. I don't know what kind of excuse we'll get, but you know how the channel is. We'll get some sort of excuse from that. Tomorrow's Halloween, so I would expect that we would get something else or some more vehicles from that area just because a lot of the folks will, will want to park and go down and uh, get some candy and, and things like that and that's some pretty prime parking over there for for those folks but uh, anyway i thought i'd uh, let you guys in on that one it's like i said it's been it's been several several weeks if not more than a month since we've gotten anything from there and, and uh, i'm just uh i'm curious i'm curious to see what's uh, what's up with this one I'm sure you guys are as well. So stick around and find out. Everything auto. Hey, I am thinking we're in the right place. But okay. I don't see my vehicle. Um, 221 Newman Road. We're in with uh, McCarter's Plumbing. Well, I see what looks to be an impound area. It's gated off. But my Jeep is not in that row of cars. Okay. I'm over here by uh, uh, DMS Builders. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're um, if you're if you're looking at DNS Builders, we're on the we're off to the right. We're around that curve uh, before you go across the bridge. Um, you're probably at the city impound lot, the police impound lot. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay. Yeah, if you if you uh, if you take off there to your right, and like I said, it's 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 a left left hand right before you go across that little bridge there. Um, I'm I'm still probably 15 minutes away or so. 
uh, we're going to have to hike over to the right spot since we got dropped off at the wrong impound lot. So, all right. Cash, correct? Correct, yes. All right. We'll okay. get you fixed up. Okay. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. So, um, headed into the lot for the Jeep Wrangler pickup from the church parking lot. Hello, guys. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good, man. I bet you guys have had better vacations. Oh, not, yeah. Not how we drew it up. <laughs> not how it was supposed to happen, right? Last night, started uh, this morning. Peace of mind of knowing that we genuinely didn't have a clue that uh, they, the, we didn't have a clue. Yeah, the spot. We even the, asked the hotel. So you asked them, and yes. they said that, that yes. you could park. They said don't park on the side of the street, but we thought we they thought meant they that street that goes the, up the hill up there. The hill. Gotcha. We didn't realize that that was even a street because it's in the same space as their parking lot. No, I, they don't do a very good job with. Oh, well, well, we don't think we'll ever stay there again. <laughs> yeah. I looked at it this morning, and they've got three signs, and yeah. they're on light poles. But yeah. it's dark. We and, didn't see them. And when, when we parked there, yeah. There was cars parked all through there. Yeah. Yeah, the the <laughs> the number all of them are numbered spots and they rent them out to employees that work in and around Gatlinburg. So when that employee comes in and their spot is taken then they can't go to work yeah, and I then they'll call. I get well, and here's the shit part of it. <laughs> there were two open spots in the parking lot. <laughs> oh and no. We, and we were like, we don't want to be parked next to anybody, we'll just oh, park yeah. over here. You look in the rearview mirror, there's a parking pass hanging there because we thought that was a legit spot. We didn't know. Yeah, no, that's it uh sucks, Yeah, they and they'll sell out. They'll sell their spots completely out. Oh hey, we learned our lesson. And then, and then they won't know. Let me get you this receipt. You guys have got keys, I guess, and all that good stuff. I told her I said that church probably makes more off them parking spaces than they do the plate every Sunday. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's just a crazy little area right there. I don't know, I don't know why that that hotel. Appreciate it, buddy. I don't know why that hotel doesn't do a better because all they'd have to do is draw up a little a little map that or happen something. A lot. That a happens. lot. Yeah. Well, oh wow. If, if oh, they, they note to self, don't ever. Well, what they what they should have yeah. said is make sure you're not parked in a numbered in a numbered spot. Spot. Yeah. But he just said side what, side street. What, what a keen. <laughs> told me <It's laughs> was if you if you can't find a parking space come to the front desk we'll find a place for you to park we have overflow yeah and i said we're parked out here on the very very yeah, side, side space is that fine he goes oh yeah that's fine yeah and their overflow is about two blocks away that's something you'd want to carry your luggage uh, two blocks away it's from. neither here nor there it's uh uh i got a i got an expensive story to tell yeah you need to see my license a, registrations in the glove box if you need to yeah, see yeah as it. long as your license mate you're the registered owner i guess as long as you're and then I'll, I'll bring it up here to you it happens all the time i'm sure you can you can go on and read the, the reviews you're not the only well, one you normally read the reviews i haven't read them that in depth apparently <laughs> yeah i'll get to get it up here for you guys yeah what a what a way to start halloween trick Trick or treat. <laughs> awesome Jeep. I love them. They hold their value like the thing's probably worth a million dollars. Well, I bought this one right. And uh, that's that's the thing is they hold their value. It's crazy. We, uh, we bought one for my daughter and she did all of high school and college. And it was a 1997, 300,000 miles. And I sold it for more than what I paid for it when I got it for her, so yeah. that stuff is that stuff is crazy. I, but, yeah, uh, it's... I learned my lesson. Anyway, guys, you heard the story there. Hotel said he could park there. To be fair, the hotel said park on the side. He said he was parked on the side, and the hotel said, yes, that's fine if you're parked on the side of the building. But he thought that uh, the side of the building was was okay right there on the side, and I guess they should have said no number of spots or something like that, but... I don't know. Another uh, case of miscommunication. Which, which, are we towing this one back here? Yeah. I just yeah. being towed up to the wide spot. Okay. You want to hook a chain to me and pull me? Okay. That will work great. Okay, thank you. Are we going to be able to get the truck and the trailer both? Are we just taking it down to Food City or are we just taking it down the our lot? We're not even He's to our lot yet. Taking it down to um, just a flat spot, he said. Down to the uh, to close to our lot, to the city lot, where there's a flat spot, is what the one dispatcher said.
guess you lost your radiator, maybe? No, it's that pressure fitting on the transmission. Oh, transmission Ooh. line. Yeah. The Ford dealership got one, so I'm going to unload the Maverick and run to go get it. I guess there's a wide spot right there on the road. Uh, there's a couple. The trolley pull off. The trolley pull off. Yeah, there's a couple of spots up there. The city garage is up around the corner. Just depends on where's a safe spot for you to work on it at. Alongside the road, definitely wouldn't be. But no. officer said the trolley stopped down here. The trolley stopped down there. Okay, I just need it into neutral. Yeah. Um, that tongue's going to be. You going to let that down just a little bit? Yeah, so that tongue could come up a little bit. Transmission. Ugh. He's going to jump back the cruiser. He's going to take us up there. He's going to take it. Okay. Yeah, he's going to jump in the, in the cruiser. Okay. I didn't play with neutral yet. Yeah, you're you're fine to go neutral now if you want to. Huh? Yeah, you can put it in neutral now if you want to. Might be the thing to do. You're not AAA, huh? No. Right. Yeah, they'll they'll reimburse. Just save the receipts. You see, they called AAA, and we're basically hung up on. Well, yeah, AAA. In this situation, we just need to get them off the road safely. So rather than bringing two trucks or putting one on the rollback and trying to put one on the stinger of the of the rollback and unload things, uh, we just scooped it with the front we're going to put it in neutral and get it down here to a uh get it off the roadway so we can get traffic cleared up the officer's helping out he's got uh he's going to put them in his car and um we're going to go down here to a safe location so it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot, yeah. We're, not, We're just going. Not just a vehicle and a trailer. You got a vehicle with a vehicle on a trailer. And this truck is massive. Look, <laughs> do you think you can get in there? Well, we'll certainly try. Quite the train going on. <laughs> I don't know where they went. Uh, the trolley stops over there. Do you see over here? Oh, all yeah. of this stuff over here. He said just anywhere you could get it in there, probably as long as it's not on this main road. You see is another trailer there. Um probably not right in front of the trolley stop. Don't leave me much room for this big massive no. get up. Um and I have no clue where he went. Um I wonder. Just I wonder if there's Did room over there. The no, he went around. He went around. But I wonder if there's room on the other side of the trolleys over there. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Can you get through there? <laughs> through there you can. Um, Is that where he went? He, he's over there. I don't know. I just don't know. That one trolley, he's pointing over there. <laughs> he's so funny. Uh, that guy over there just took up like 10 spots with his truck and trailer. Okay, you get one shot of it. There's no backing up. No, no, there's no backing up. Yeah. 
there's no backing up with this. <laughs> Yeah, if, if you're good with this right here, okay. All right, we get a transmission line on it and hopefully get him fixed up. Okay guys, uh, right when I think we were situated there, I had, they, they're gonna have some troubles. Uh, sh long story short, uh, transmissions are, our transmissions these days you, you, you think that you can just pull over he had a line that blew he was just going to put a new line on it and put some fluid back in it and and i told him i said I, you might check because i think those are service only transmissions so if you guys are ever out and about and uh, most of the new transmissions have gone to this so just keep this in mind by service only i mean he's he's gonna need to put some fluid back in it obviously because he lost fluid because the line broke so when he gets that line fixed uh, there's no place to put fluid in some of these newer transmissions they don't have dipsticks so you're unable to check the fluid amount so you know he you just be guessing on how much fluid he lost and trying to add that much back to it and and sometimes too much fluid is just as bad as not enough fluid in, in a lot of these modern transmissions. So it's it's just another way for it to just have to go to the dealer. What they do is, is uh, pump all the fluid out of it and then there's a certain spec on how much fluid total fill goes back in it. So when they drain everything out, everything gets put back in in just that, that quantity. Whether it's 14 quarts or 12 quarts or whatever it may be, they drain everything out and put that much back in it. So there's no way to check no way to check and say hey I lost uh, I'm, it looks like I'm a quart and a half low I'm gonna add to it and check the dipstick that's not an option anymore at least for a lot of the newer there there's still dipsticks out there but some of them are really complicated so just keep that in mind guys for I don't know road trips sometimes it'll bite you in the butt and it's uh it's gonna get that guy in trouble there he's I think he's gonna try to drop the pan and uh, drain everything out of it and then see what the spec is for just a service and uh, get that fluid amount back in just the transmission pan. He's gonna have whatever's in the torque converter still, but sometimes they'll give you two specs on that. But I thought I'd put that little bit of information out there for you guys, and vehicles these days are kind of complicated. They're, they're not, uh, not quite as easy as they used to be. But we're gonna head over, we got a vehicle, we got a Subaru with two flat tires. I'm gonna try to get her to the to the uh, tire shop. We were supposed to actually get her first, but this came in as a, a PD call, so I'm sorry. A PD call, and they were in the middle of the road, so this one kind of took uh, priority to the flat tire. She's safely at a gas station. So. Anyway, guys, we're gonna get over to uh, get her taken care of. Stick around, more stuff coming your way. Okay, guys, we are here at uh, Second Chance Tire. Second Chance Tire, my guy over there, get you fixed up. If you're in town, you got some flat tires, Swing on over, they'll get you fixed. So we got, we got them here with two flat tires. Uh, so she's gonna get uh, get a couple of new new tires there. But he's got plenty of stuff, guys. There's the phone number. Brakes and tires. He's even got. Now this is my. This is probably my favorite part. Uh, we just we just learned of this, or he just got this going. He's got a mobile tire. So he's got tire machines inside this thing. He will come to you and mount a tire for for us you know we can just come put your spare on and get you on your way if you just got one or if you've got a spare but for those people that don't have a spare and you're out after hours give him a call he will bring a tire to your location get it mounted on your car and get you back going so yeah second chance tires the place guys awesome. we appreciate him getting going and we're going to get out of here and get her fixed up okay guys we got to call in for a uh a winch out here on uh, Buckhorn PD call. They should be up here with the folks. Hopefully we can get them back up onto the roadway. I'm not sure how bad it is. Usually this spot is just a little, a little bit of a wonky 
driveway. So you pull in off of this and it kind of, it's very deceiving. There's no markers and uh, the road is kind of got a sharp edge. I think I've gotten several people off of this mm -hmm. ledge, I know. So it shouldn't be too bad. It kind of has two entrances and like one if you're going this way to pull in and one if you're coming from the other way to pull in and people always miss the first one and then they try to go to the second one and they end up in trouble. I will definitely need... Oh my goodness, yep, there it is. See, they missed this one and went to that one. Okay, definitely need some safety stuff. Get over here in this lane and we have it in between. Hello. You want to walk around? And I'll put out some safety stuff. Uh, let me get some. Lights. Yeah, I'll get them. Some lights down. Uh, hopefully, we can just get it lifted up. He's coming this way.
way worse than what it was. It, it usually gets right here on the pitch well. Right here, you can see where it scrapes these. That's the lowest point on the car. It's meant to be jacked up on that, so it's not going to hurt anything. guys uh we just left the uh the winch out there on ogle road buckhorn the corner there if you're renting that spot there you're going to know that it's it's a really bad like Kristen was saying uh you, a lot of the people will pass the the spot that they're supposed to swoop into that's that's angled that way they'll they'll miss their turn and then they'll try to go in the second entrance which is not angled the right way and and it's steep and they'll fall off get hung up we've done several recoveries from that location i could have picked up the car we could have boomed out over the back of it hooked up straps and cables and winched it up in the air and winched it back but the same result happens if i use the wheel lift that's why i love this auto loader was able to just back up to it hook the grids on the wheels like like we're normally towing a car uh just uh we're just using it to recover it uh, but we get a little bit of lift on it which gets the clearance where it's bottomed out and uh, just simply pull forward. So it saves a whole mess, a lot of time and uh, effort on on trying to get this road clear. Just, you know, the few minutes that we were there, we had traffic backed up forever. We had multiple cars there. So the quicker that we can get this done, the better ultimately for the officers and um, our Gatlinburg officer there, amazing guy. Uh, really helped us help us keep safe over there on that curve. That's a really bad curve. Mm -hmm. The little light up things that, um, Scott Brittany. Uh, Scott and Brittany, the goddess. Uh, that was the first use on that one, Scott and Brittany. Those things are going to be lifesavers for those corners and those blind corners and things like that. And I, I had one that was a little too close that I pulled over, but the officer got it picked up for us. And those things are super cool and going to be very useful. But uh, easy, that was just the easiest way to recover that one. Got them back up onto the roadway and hopefully they can have some fun. There's no damage. Uh, got it lifted up and uh, just, just a few odd and end little scrape marks on the bottom there but no big deal got them happily on their way and back on vacation and uh we're gonna head back to the shop and wait on our next call we appreciate you watching okay guys welcome back to the shop i just got done washing the truck which is a huge battle for me on this gravel road it's very hard to keep them clean uh but while i was washing this i got another phone call uh, we had the opportunity to meet craig craig stevenson he got up with us on halloween i think it was and uh well craig had reached out to me uh, several weeks back about what you guys see laying here in the driveway. Craig, you are an amazing guy. He is looking out for my well-being, my back. He's heard me complain about lifting this this big steel jack off of the back of the of the wrecker here and and how big of a pain it is. And Craig decided to he, he said I'm just going to go buy you one. I'm going to go down, and I'm going to buy you one and we'll get full warranty and and then he delivered it to me. But yeah, guys, Craig has gotten us this. It's, it's a huge weight difference. This is the aluminum three ton versus the steel three ton. I think this one weighed like 65 pounds or 68 pounds, which is a huge difference. I, I don't even know what that weighs, but my back could tell you it's really heavy. So Craig's just dropped this off for us. So that's why we've got that and it's going to go on the truck and I'm gonna smile. Thank you, Craig. I mean, uh, you guys, like I said, our YouTube family is is amazing and uh, I just I'm overwhelmed with this stuff each and every day it is just so amazingly I don't even know I don't even know how to how to say it but uh, you guys you guys go above and beyond but Craig is, is uh, one of the local one of our local reality realtors I should say uh, I've got his card here pristine I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there, Craig. I hope that's okay. But if you guys uh, ever in the area or from out of town looking for, you know, your forever home or a vacation home or anything like that, give give Craig a call. I mean, what a what an amazing stand-up guy. I mean, you guys you guys get to see firsthand what he's he's done for me. Uh, so you know, if he'll do this stuff for me and my company, he's he's definitely gonna gonna get you guys in on your on your home and. Uh, and finding you guys a spot or a piece of property land, whatever it is, 
I'm, I promise you, Craig is your guy. Give him a call. And But we're going to see if we can get this mounted up on here. And my back will definitely feel, I'm going to guess, a whole lot better. It might make me want to do more tire changes. <laughs> I don't know. I always groan when the phone calls come in for, uh, I need a tire change. And I'm like, I don't want to do it. Sometimes I'll try to pawn it off on COVID in the service van just because it's a little easier. The service van's got a low door and you're not beating your head and pulling this off at the same time. So Craig, can't thank you, can't thank you enough. And uh, we're going to get that mounted up and see if we can head out and grab some lunch. So stick around guys.